In a previous video, which I will link down below, I showed some video clips of the effect of Storm Christine in our town on October 22. The storm passed through the Beagle region starting on the morning of October 22, and the rains were so heavy for 24 hours. For ongoing news regarding Storm Christine, you can search on Facebook using the hashtag ChristinePH. This video will have clips from October 23, beginning on the morning. This is me filming from inside my car. Our power was still out and Wi-Fi was already lost at this point, so we had only cellular service on our phones to rely on, but I had to go outside the house to get a signal. Our house is okay. We are in Tigaon in the province of Kamarina Sur, and as you can see, only those plants over there were affected because the wind was so strong. But according to the social media posts that I have seen, Naga City has been terribly flooded, and we do have family there and also a house which has been completely empty since June. I talked about us moving out in a video which I will link down below. So when the winds have died down at around noon, I decided to drive out to Naga City to check on relatives whom we have had no contact with since the previous night during the height of the storm. In Naga, I managed to film video clips and I will play everything with the original sound and just narrate details as needed. This inner road right here in Kararaya, Naga City has been blocked off because a short bridge further on has been eroded by the flood, so the entire stretch of road is considered as impassable. I needed to check on my father's brother who is bedridden, but there is another way to get to his house. This is Magsaysay Avenue in Naga City, which looks normal. The entire city still has no power at this point. Magsaysay is clear because clearing operations started very early in the morning. And people are out, presumably to get food, check on relatives that they can actually get to, and try to find cellular service because it is very, very spotty. This here is still Naga City, but this is a road leading to Marupit in the town of Kamaligan. I wanted to check on my father's other brother and his family, but at this point I was stopped by people manning this area because the flood in Marupit is still one story high and no one can get in except for boats. Now this is the road along the Naga City Metropolitan Cathedral leading to the city center which saw massive flooding the night before. I've seen photos of this area on social media in which cars were floating. And I think you can already see one of the destroyed cars, that pale green one that's over there. The white van is just blocking our view of the destroyed car because that van is turning around. It cannot go through. But I tried to move forward anyway. The road is very muddy. This area has not been cleared yet because the flood is actually still over there, although partially subsided. But apparently this road is impassable. There is that destroyed car, one of several that were floating here the night before. And this is along the diversion road, still in Naga City. The flood you can see over there is actually a road.
and this is also still diversion road but a little further on these vehicles have been mostly idling here or parked here i don't know if they are stranded or just waiting for their friends and family to meet them here so they can leave I decided to park my car at a gasoline station and then walk a little way along Diversion Road just to see what's going on further up. This is another side street leading out of Diversion Road, completely flooded. And on Diversion Road, this is where the flood starts. Diversion Road is still within Naga City, but this is already leading out of Naga City into the next town of Milaor and San Fernando and Pamplona and so on and so forth, all the way to Camarines Norte and then the Calabarazon area and Metro Manila. I decided to wait in to see what's over there. Jawaid's house is just further on and he's with his mother who is a senior citizen. And I also have relatives even further over there but I heard they've already been evacuated earlier. Now if you have ever walked in flood, you know it's not easy. It looks easy but it's difficult not to topple over because the water has current and the people walking are adding to the current and we are walking one foot after the other so it's never completely two feet on the ground at the same time so it's really not walking but waiting literally waiting I can see large trucks parked further ahead but I don't know why they're there. Could be that the flood is deeper further on and they can't get through so they're waiting for people to walk to them instead. But when I asked, they said they were told to wait here because they might be asked to drive further out later on. They can pick people up after all, they're just waiting for the instructions and where to go. But that's the furthest I could go without flooding my boots. I could not go any further because it's waist deep further on, so I just walked back. This is the Petron in Magsaysay Avenue. There are so many vehicles that need refueling. And in the station, it's the owners of the station that are manning the pumps and the cash register because their staff had to go home. They also are out of unleaded gasoline because their delivery truck has been stranded somewhere in Pasakao since the previous afternoon. But they did have premium gasoline, which is, of course, now unleaded, but just higher octane. I got that one instead, even though I know it would be a little too powerful for my little subcompact but that's okay I did not want to run out of fuel while trying to find fuel this is Dayang Down Street which was also severely flooded the night before estimates ranged from 8 feet to 10 feet high the flood has subsided in this part but it's still so muddy because some flooding remains this is the remaining flood in Dayang Down motorcycles and tall cars can get through but I had to turn back And 
I am now back in Magsaysay Avenue. From here, I just drove back home to Tigaon, which took me about an hour and a half.